Good morning, Rachel. Um, today I wanted to show you how the best way is for you to look at the uh, names of the programs that have been presented during a time period. So my original thought was to have you use this Analyze tab, which you're probably most familiar with. The idea was we would set the where it took place as David Crockett State Park, and we would set the date range as between, say, October 1st and 31st. Uh, in this case, we had nine records. Um, it's been answered nine times. So four have been through you, four through Brian, four through Ann. So that might already tell you some indicators of how many programs have been presented, um, if that's not as many as you thought. The next thing is if you go to navigation, you could turn on program title. When I did this, however, it looks like we have 20, um, it requires you to show 20 answers, but if you toggle between show responses and show words, you can get the actual name of the program. It looks like there was one program that was unnamed, um, and uh, so I'm not sure exactly which that one was. Another option you can do is if you want to look at this a little more closely, you can go to the data page, and it's kind of the same thing. You're going to set your filters for where it took place. So again, there's this is all, it's like an Excel spreadsheet on this side. So click filter, pick where, date range, and apply. And you'll see now there's nine uh, programs. This gives you a little bit more information. You can see the program type, title. And the reason I'm seeing these four fields, these are fields right now is because those are the ones I've turned on. And the way you turn them on is you click this plus button and you can click all columns, but you're gonna get a lot of information there. But the best thing to do is just check the things you want. So here I'm actually, I wanna turn on program title and maybe event name in case there was an event, an event. And with that, you can see the program title a little bit better. Um, and for this, now I see that there was one that was Halloween in the park concert. So that was an event. Um, so, and that's why it didn't show up with the program title, which is pretty cool. There's this one too. And if you actually click the exact entry, you'll see that this was an unscheduled program presented by Brian. And he can tell you how many people came to that. So this is a pretty cool way um, that you, you'll need to make sure you have this form view turned on. And when you do that, when you click on each entry, it'll show you a little bit more about that. And this is a great place if you had photos that were attached, they would all be there too. So there's a little bit more in depth. I hope that helps and let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks.